What will transportation be like in GTA 6? How will we commute around the map of Vice City and the state of Leonida? That's what we're going to be touching upon within this video. Before we get into it though, real quick, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so any of your help would be massively appreciated. Other right, guys, let's hop straight into the video. So with the current information that we publicly have available in relation to this topic, we actually have a little bit in terms of what we are going to be seeing in regards to not only just transportation, but also public transportation. Historically, in each Grand Theft Auto iteration, we have always been able to get around the map either by driving our vehicle, riding a bike, a motorcycle, or whatever it may be in regards to this. But in terms of public transportation, we have had trains in the past where we've been able to ride around the map and actually drive the train itself. And that's actually occurred within GTA 5. Well, it seems now with the upcoming Grand Theft Auto 6, we'll actually be able to ride on the Metro Mover. And this is actually one of the real life Metro Movers in Miami. And Rockstar will be basing it off the real life Metro Mover system. And we know this because we actually found this within the leaked footage back in September of 2022, where you actually see Jason in one of the clips walking in and out of a Metro Mover. And it seems to be that this is at one of the Metro stations. Stations. So not only are we likely to see trains within GTA 6, but it seems that we are going to be seeing Metro's making its first appearance within a GTA title. It will be very intriguing to see how Rockstar Games implement this within the game. Will we see a transit map or a transit map like system similar to the one featured on screen, as you can see at the moment, where it's a full loop around the city itself? That is just going to add an extra layer of realism to the game. Will we be seeing people like business people walking to and from their homes, taking the metro to their work or whatever it may be, I think that'll be particularly interesting to see. Or even just civilians, pedestrians walking around free roaming around the map of Vice City and Leonida, just like ourselves, we will be able to take a trip on the Metro. I would say that it is quite likely that we will be able to do this. So that seems to be one way we are going to be getting around the map of GTA 6, which is going to be absolutely awesome to see, seeing that it is the first time that we are going to be seeing this implemented. Now, the other public transportation method that has been heavily rumored, it's not necessarily anything that's been featured in the leaked footage files or anything that was featured within trailer one. But there is quite a fair bit of speculation within the GTA and Rockstar Games community that Uber will be making its first appearance within GTA 6, a parody version of Uber at least anyways. I would say we are likely going to be seeing something featured that is going to be similar to Uber. Obviously, Rockstar Games will come up with their own parody name of it. But I think the ability to actually flick out our phone and request a ride from anyone that is doing Uber throughout Vice City and the state of Leonida, I think that would be particularly awesome to see because currently at the moment with GTA 5 and all the other previous Grand Theft Auto titles, we've only been accustomed to calling a taxi, even if it's just like hailing a taxi in GTA 4 or flicking out our phone in GTA 5 and contacting the downtown cab in Los Santos or wherever you are situated on the map. I gotta say it's pretty repetitive how Rockstar Games implemented taxis within GTA 5. Reason being is because we see the exact same vehicle, same make and a model. Doesn't matter where you are situated on the map and anytime you do get in the car you always see that Spanish guy and East Los FM is playing with all those Spanish songs on there. It was a massive meme back in its early days when GTA 5 did first launch but I mean over the many years we've been accustomed to that for so long and it's just gotten so annoying now so hopefully within GTA 6 we see these situations become much more varied in terms of people picking us up, taking us from point A to point B. Will it just be like taxi services? Will it be random people that are doing Uber where we can actually get picked up from wherever on the map by requesting rides? Before we move into the next section of this video, just let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Private Internet Access. We all are aware internet privacy is super important. A lot of games though on the market use a P2P model, otherwise known as a peer-to-peer -peer model, where you're you're essentially not actually playing on a server but you're connecting to someone else's console and they're actually connecting to yours an example of this is gta online an issue with this is that it makes it super easy for someone to actually access your ip address which is unsafe and not secure at all however by using private internet access it will actually help you overcome these issues as it will provide a barrier between yourself and the other person's console you can change your location to one of 50 us states or 91 countries now this is beneficial if you are in the US because you can actually change your location to a nearby state rather than having to ping your location
location to the other side of the world. So not only will you get super fast gameplay, but still remain completely private in the process. For me, as well as my fellow content creator, Cyberboy, we're both using a VPN whenever we're playing online. So if you want to save yourself 83% off and get four months free, click the link down below. It's only $2.03 a month, which is an insanely good deal. The next method we are likely going to be using when we are going to be commuting ourselves around the map is by using planes. Now this is just an obvious one anyways, and this is one that we are going to definitely be seeing within the game. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that we are going to be flying planes within GTA 6. Obviously it's going to be way better in GTA 5, that's a given. We have had confirmation of this within trailer one where we did see that scene within the trailer where Lucia is in the convertible with Jason and she flails her arms up in the air and we see the sign above where it says Kelly County Vice City International Airport. And we do kind of see our first shot of the Vice City International Airport, but the vice lettering that is featured within this shot, obviously the signage there is covering it. But in the background, we sort of see some airport satellite towers, which confirms that this is the Vice City International Airport. In the leak clips back in September of 22, we actually do see the Miami or Vice City Airport Station, as it is described here by the people in the GTA and Rockstar Games community that devised the GTA 6 document, they go, you can see two trains, one based on the Miami Metro Mover, Vice City and Metro Mule, and another one based on the Miami International Airport Metro Mover, Vice City International Airport. And this is how the Miami Airport Station looks like in real life. So Rockstar Games will be basing it off this. It's going to be absolutely awesome to see how Rockstar Games implement it. And will it be a one-to-one -one ratio of the exact way it does look like in real life that would be very very intriguing to see now another method of transportation that has been listed within the leaked files was horses now as it is described here from the gta 6 document in one of the clips with jason in the debug menu you can actually see a written input horse exit and under it you can see input vehicle exit However, this may actually be a leftover rage elements from Red Dead 2. Now, we don't know for sure if we are going to be seeing horses within GTA 6. I mean, Rockstar Games have that skeleton. They have the physics system already from RDR2. And building upon that, I don't think would be too difficult to implement it within the game. Now, I'm not a games developer, but I would say that seeing that Rockstar Games have featured in their most up-to-date title, Red Dead 2, I don't think it would be too far of a stretch to see it within GTA 6. And the interesting thing about this find is that Rockstar Rockstar Games tried to implement horses within GTA 5 back in the day, and this was actually cut content that was actually going to end up in the final version of the game at the time. So if you don't know, during the development of GTA 5, there was meant to be the Shah Muta job, and this was actually a cut heist that was originally planned to appear in the single player story of GTA 5. It involved Michael and Trevor robbing the mansion owned by Martin Madrazzo. And as you can see here, according to the audio files related to this heist, a horse was a living creature during that mission, which confirms that horses were completely cut from the vinyl version of it. There are other leftovers of the horse in the files. A level of detail model used for an animal was believed to be actually from a horse. So that's a bit of a fun fact if you guys didn't know that. So Rockstar Games have tried to implement it before, it didn't work out, and they cut it from the final version. So I would say, that they are likely going to be trying again within GTA 6 to have it featured in some capacity. Now, how heavily it will be featured, obviously we don't know of at the moment, seeing that there was a bit of information that was featured within the leaked files, but not much to really go off currently at the moment. We just have to wait and see. Time will tell if horses are going to be featured within a GTA 6. By that, guys, now I want to hear from you in that comments section below. What do you make of everything we discussed within today's video? It's been a bit of a long one, longer than I expected, but in terms of transportation, public transportation, what will we likely be seeing within GTA 6? What do you want to see being featured within the game? I want to make sure I hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video and found any informative value please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you to you guys for your continued support on the videos and of course to my channel members i know i don't probably say it enough but it means a lot you guys watching these videos and supporting the content it is very 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 much appreciated by that guys make sure to stay safe have a great day and i am out